And Luke, um, further strikes overnight. Notably, uh, you were telling me just before we came on air, there's been one in Odessa, hasn't there? That's right. Uh, further reports on Monday morning of yet further strikes uh, to the south in the port city of Odessa, one that has left uh, both wounded and residential buildings destroyed. Now, this follows a spate of uh, missile attacks over the weekend, uh, particularly in the capital city, Kiev, and uh, the town of Cherkasy, uh, and other areas, too, that had until now been relatively calm for several weeks. Now, you have to note here that Russia has a particularly limited stock of guided missiles, and the thinking with analysts is that he had, that uh, Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, has has to be using them for a reason, given the dozens that have been incoming since uh, since Friday. Now, it's thought that the Russian aim may well to be to try, may well be to try and maintain pressure, uh, particularly as the G7 discusses uh, aid for Ukraine. Uh, this uh, comes as the country finds itself particularly hard pressed in the east. Uh, the Ukrainian military has withdrawn from the city of uh, Severodonetsk, pulling back to Lysychansk in a tactical withdrawal. They've uh, said that there is nothing worth left defending and the city itself has been largely destroyed. Now, uh, Russians, uh, there have been reports there of Russians pushing in towards Lysychansk on Monday morning with uh, the would dovetail with their aim, their stated aim, to try and take all of the Donbass region. Uh, Lysychansk, of course, is now the last city in uh, the Luhansk province still in Ukrainian hands. Uh, now, the Ukrainian general staff has said that Russia has been using artillery to try and blockade the city and cut it off from the south. But there may yet be one bright spot on the horizon. Uh, there have been reports that the U.S. is uh, to announce the purchase of a medium to long-range surface to air missile missile system for Ukraine. Now, that's been a long-running ask from uh, Kiev uh, because it's seeking any advantage it can get, um, which uh, the time against the Russians being badly outgunned it is, as it is. Now, this is the war grinds on in brutal attrition, and uh, the question has to be asked, how long can uh, the situation last? How long can the Ukrainians last as their casualty numbers increasingly continue to tick up? And war fatigue itself at the five-month point of the conflict shows signs of setting in in the West. Luke, thanks very much. Luke Schrager, correspondent, uh, talking to us there from Oman.